He's so good. Shroud's so good. Oh, uh, uh, hello and welcome everyone. Um, this is hello and welcome uh, to the Wednesday Lunch podcast. Um, we are uh, investigate the paranormal alien um, abduction, uh, Sasquatch, Bigfoot, Loch Ness monster, chupacabras, vampires, werewolves. Um, all the truly unexplained shit. Sorry, all the truly unexplained um, phenomena in the time travelers uh, around the, uh, Earth. Here, so today we're gonna be talking about uh, unexplained photos that that remain a mystery from the cool and interesting stuff dot com. Um, right here is right here is it's so hard. Cause my camera's in front this is my dog cam so if my dogs come up you can see my dogs uh and they'll they'll be in the they'll be in the show so uh okay let's dive right into this let's uh okay here we go unexplained ufo phenomena remain a mystery so unexplained ufo photos that remain a mystery um a collection of unexplained real a UFO photo pictures has just been declassified and investigated are unable to provide an explanation for them. So here's one of them. It's a uh, looks like a classy old photo from an old camera and it uh, has a classic dish sa saucer shape uh, UFO and it's hovering in the sky above New Zealand unexplained UFO picture in New Zealand. So. The government has had these in their hands. Oh, that looks much better. I can zoom in. Look, see that? Look at that. So the government has had these in their mitts and they are not releasing it to the public because they think we can't handle it. But I'm telling you, we can handle it. Okay, so here's the next one. Uh, captured in 1951, this strange picture has baffled experts since. So it's a military plane of some kind and it's uh, being tailed by a ufo classic flying disc or i guess you can say it's cigar shaped is the new thing because everyone's saying that they're like bob lazar they fly sideways and they're like more cigar they're not saucer shaped they're cigar shaped so they can go in and out of water as well so that's pretty interesting what oops what else are they claiming oh here's one a ufo was spotted tailing a b-47 after it left Ed Edwards Air Force Base. I mean, look at that. That's obviously an airplane with the turbo thing and the wing. And look at that. It's, I mean, you explain that. It's got the little power thing on the bottom where the anti-gravity reactor is and it flies. It's got little lights on the side. See that? Like this classic hubcap, classic saucer shape quite interesting so these are just recently declassified um that the government declassified interesting huh a number of witnesses spotted ufos in china in 2012 is this in china i don't know where Ed edward's base is china southwest Sichuan, and un provinces have become a hotbed for ufo activity in the last few years witnesses have observed luminous fan-shaped objects emitting cylindrical rays of light the Lombok lights were an unusual formation of lights seen over the city of Lombok, Texas. From August through September 1951, the Lombok lights incident received national publicity and is regarded as one of the most, one of the first great UFO cases in the United States. So these are the Lombok lights. It just looks like, like if somebody used liquid paper and just like dotted a piece of paper. Interesting. Huh. Very interesting. This one's very compelling. I, I'm into that one. This one, I mean, they didn't have Photoshop back then, folks. Pretty much all of them in a nutshell right here. Just so you guys can get a look at them. So these are recently declassified. Do they, do they say from where? Like, you know, I mean, obviously the government. You know, what are your thoughts on it? There's no activity on the dog cam uh, right now. Um, but yeah, so what do you guys think? You think these, uh, is these guys are full of it or... Um, uh, I mean, I think all the news coming out right now with all these UFOs and stuff and cigar shapes. It's no more saucer shape. It's cigar shape now. So 
because they can go in and out of water and that's where the navy is saying they see them and stuff so well yeah that's pretty much it uh thanks you guys for watching appreciate you um don't forget to like and subscribe for more spooky videos like this um it's uh interesting and i'm into it uh my hair don't worry i've had uh white hair since i was like in fifth grade so yeah, so that's cool. Don't forget to go to winslunch.com slash uh, teespring. Get your coffee mugs, stickers, uh, and t-shirts. I'm not wearing the t-shirt right now. I'm wearing a Joe Rogan on it experience. T-shirt, but don't forget to uh, swing by there and uh, scoop up a little scooping. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. Uh, and I'll see you.